Oh, that re the radio static scared me. I forgot it was just the harmless but terrifying. Hello, there's a book in front of him. The next part of that fairy tale I found. No, this is actually the beginning. Once upon a time, there was a monster living at the gates of a village. It was a very scary and a very bad monster. It would catch people and crunch them up with its big teeth. The villagers were afraid of the monster and no one would dare approach the gates. Everyone was stuck inside the village. When the king heard about this, he summoned his knights. The knights eagerly rode out to defeat the monster. Ha! Take that! Their swords slashed and their spears flashed, but the monster wouldn't die. The monster tossed the knights into its mouth one by one, horses and all. What was the king to do? He fretted and fussed and paced the floor, but could think of no solution. Soon after, the village priestess came to the castle. She was a very kind and good person. The king asked her to beat the monster guarding the gates. And I'm missing the end, but I feel like I've read this before somewhere. I just can't remember how it ends. Maybe I never did read it through to the end. And we know the priestess dies, so that... sucks. Well, what I need to do is head to the end and to my right, and use the life insurance key. Oh, for God's sake. I hate these monsters so much. I'll check behind me as they're much more obvious dead ends. Well, now I know. Oh, hello. Nah, it's nothing. Nothing through here. God, listen to all that. Straight forward to the right. God, what is that? Whoa! That is horrible! Oh my god, I'll leave them to this. I see no reason to disturb their meal. Do you? No, you don't. Uh. Oh my. That is the most horrible thing I've ever seen. Oh my god. Wow. Rubble everywhere blood everywhere. Hey, the end of the fairy tale. The king and his people shed tears at the death of the kind priestess. God took pity upon them and granting their wishes, healed the priestess. Oh, okay. The priestess opened her eyes just as she had done every morning of her life. She went once more to the monster's lair. Fool, you wish to die again? No, this time it's your turn. The priestess had come to defeat the monster once and for all. As the priestess was very, very kind, she felt sad about this task, but it had to be done. Swords and spears won't work. Arrows and bullets will just bounce off. You can't kill me, the monster laughed. But the priestess used neither sword nor spear. She chanted but a single spell. Tu fui ego eris. Do you know what happened then? The monster let out a huge cry and then died and vanished. Thus the villagers were able to use their gates once more. Everyone lavished their gratitude upon the priestess, and they all lived happily ever after. Tu fui ego eres. Weird writing. <gasps> what was that? You hear that monster sound? That would be a hint. That's the end of the fairy tale, and do you know what? That's the end of this building. If I don't get destroyed... The monsters are gone? That didn't kill all the monsters, did it? Normally when I play through this game, I kill those monsters before going in so I don't get... obstructed, but... Did that... Did that chant kill everything? That would be amazing! That would be really amazing! But this is the important part. The monster is gone. And now I may leave. Oh, a flash of white light, and suddenly we're back. That was the fastest revert transformation I've ever seen. Now where am I? No map of this area. But, that's okay. Remember, my house key. 
says Daisy Villa Apartment 102. Now all I have to do is find Daisy Villa Apartments, which is apparently not this way. What does that say? Last Drop Cafe. That's kind of funny. Oh, that's the one I was just in. Okay. Time to go home. No fog walking, but night walking, I'm afraid. Nope, I have to get home. If I recall correctly, there should not be enemies around here either. Whoa, camera, I'm just trying to get oriented, excuse me. I sure would like to know where to go, though. There's really nothing, uh, I can't go through this caution tape at all. Path is blocked. Ah, I missed what it said a second ago, but that's okay. Well, it couldn't be too hard. Aha! Down this alleyway. Hmm, a whole lot of nothing, huh? Hey, that wasn't so bad. Daisy Villa Apartment. Well, this is fantastic. I could finally go home and end this game. <laughs> That's not my place. I think that actually said 152. Washing machines. Don't know who the stuff it is, but I'll leave it alone. None of it could help me. A dust shoe. Nothing to worry about. That's fine. That's fine. We're all friends here. Uh, 103. I am really close. Did I overshoot my place? 105. Nope. I'm just about home. Oh, the stairway. Nope, don't need that. Elevator. Yep, number 102, in case the player forgot. Aha! Camera angle change. There is one thing I'd like to check, though. There's the mail room. Not my place. I just want to see if the mail room is on the ground floor. If it is, there might be an Easter egg. Ah, yes. The mailbox is empty. Ah, nothing. Alright, I, I guess... I don't know how I would set this up for the PC version. Yeah, I'll save. Hey, what's this doing here? That really pisses me off. It's like having someone spit in your sacred place. Looking at that makes me... Looking at that makes me head hurt. Or me head. What does it mean? That's actually probably the funniest thing I've read from Heather all day. Like, looking at this thing really pisses me off. It's like, oh, I'm home. Oh, damn it. But, no, the Easter egg was, um, if you had Silent Hill 2 save data, I guess for the P PS2 version on your memory card, it would say the mailbox is empty. Like, there's no letters for you. Dead wife or otherwise. And it's a reference to Silent Hill 2. I just thought that was kind of amusing. But, hey. Up, oh, stairway, excuse me. I'm already getting lost, because that's how I roll. 102, time to go home. End this game. Oh. Dad, I'm home. Yeah, Harry. Something really crazy is going on. I think we should... Dad? Dad? Ugh. Oh, and yes, that is Harry Mason, the protagonist of Silent Hill 1. He got killed in Silent Hill 3.
Now here's the part that's really going to make you rage. Did you do this? You're late. But God, why? I hate her. Why? Revenge for 17 years ago for one thing. Mm. If not for him, our dream would have come true. So she is a disciple of Dahlia. And then he took you away from us. I'll get you for this! I got guns! There is another reason. To fill your heart with hatred. It must be this way. One day you'll understand why. No, oh, I understand. I understand. Oh. You must try to remember me and your true self as well. You will birth a god and build an eternal paradise. Why is everyone nuts in Silent Hill? Yes. Do it, Heather. Do it. He's the one who killed your father. I merely gave the order. So, um. What will you do? Um. I'm gonna kick your ass. Then I'm gonna kick your ass. Still, that thing's creeping me out. Oh, this isn't even Silent Hill. All this craziness happened outside of Silent Hill. Well, that's scary by itself. All right, let's go crazy. This thing is fast, by the way. Very fast. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing's quick. And now he's gonna die. Oh! Holy crap! He blocked... Did that thing just block my shell? Oh my god! Alright, sucker. Let's dance. Jeez! This is surreal! Silent Hill! What are you doing? Alright, fine. But that was it, really? Oh! My name is Heather Mason. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Come on! Oh my god! You think you're hot, but you're not. Did that thing just, did that thing just backpedal away from my sword slashes? This is truly an epic battle. Sword on sword action. Oh, what you got now? You got nothing, that's what you got. You bastard, I cut you, I cut you! Ah, where are you going? Woo! Well, I'm not done with you yet. This monster's a quick one, I'll give him that. Jeez, that's fast! Haha! -ha. That's right, bleed. Yes. Come on. Stay. Oh my god, I am the winner. Well, I half avenged my father's murder. I killed the killer, but not the one who made it happen. The order that is. And there's Douglas. What's he doing here? I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything. Yeah, not in the mood for you. I'm fine. So just get out of here and leave me alone already. Calm down. I just Calm down? How am I supposed to do that? Seriously. My father is dead! By a monster, no less. Get out! This is all your fault! 
technically it's Claudia's. Claudia sent him, so... If it'll make you feel better, I will. Is he okay like this? Ugh. What else can I do? There's no one here to give him a decent burial. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dad. God, am I gonna kill Claudia? What's in Silent Hill? Hell? I don't know. Do you think it's safe? Of course it isn't. I don't know what kind of hell is waiting for me there, but I've got no other choice. I don't care about God or paradise. If that's what she believes, then fine. But she won't get away with what she did. When I find her, I'll kill her myself. And this is why I like Heather the most of the Silent Hill protagonists. You just pissed Heather off. It just got real. Maybe not, but that's what I'm going to do. How you gonna get there? None of your business. I'll give you a ride. Hey, really? I don't need your help. Dude, I don't have a ride. Take it. Yeah, but it's too far to walk. Besides, I'm partly responsible for this. Alright, alright. I'll bring the car around back. Come by when you finish saying goodbye. Well, Douglas is reasonable after all. You know, you might die too. That's fine. What? Nobody's gonna cry over my grave. That's dark. Well. Nothing odd about the TV, the VCR. There's really nothing to look at in this room except for Harry himself. Oh yeah, she's gonna pay. I wonder if my dad would be mad at me for thinking that way. Hey, my dad's killed his fair share of demons. No humans, though. No humans. There's really nothing else to do. I think there might be a couple of items uh, scattered around the apartment. But after that, that's where I'm going to cut the playthrough off. <laughs> this is the closet. So that's the immediate room. Books on the table. <laughs> Dad loved the techno novels. Oh, Harry. I need to go back on the roof. Monster's dead now. Blood spatters. Regular TV. You'll notice this looked almost exactly like Silent Hill 2, where the dead man was sitting in his position. Ah, oh, that's depressing. But, but come on, that was a monster that was fast. Harry was only used to dealing with slightly fast monsters. But, um... I actually lost track of what I was going to say. Um, oh yes, Harry was in the same position as the dead man in Silent Hill 2 in the apartments, except that the TV was not all staticky. Oh, no, I'm not going out yet. I'm reasonably sure that there's an item or two somewhere in my apartments. That's the way I came, of course, because I'm a freaking dysfunctional directional sense. Here we go. A stun gun! A stun gun battery! Hey, hey, hey! Well, well. High voltage just have the bad guys. It has to touch them though, so it's very short range. Regular toilets. Un note? 
Detective... No. Dire... I don't know what that says. September 97. I suspect that might even be in a different language, too. Who's that? Oh, it's just a picture of a little panda teddy bear kind of thing. I don't recognize those people. I just got a bunch of magazines in a room, little sort of rag dolls. Otherwise, nothing really to see here except for my stun gun, which is awesome! But now. Gonna head out. Ah, I'm sorry. Alright, but now I'm gonna head out, run to Douglas, and that's where I'll cut things short. Right, right, right. I need to head out the front. Or the back. I just met some guy named Vincent. That guy's fast. Vincent? He's a friend of yours, right? Uh. I'm not sure. He said when we get to Silent Hill to look for a guy named Leonard. Well, that might help. This map. It's creepy that he knows that we're going to Silent Hill. What do you want to do? We can't find Leonard. Him, but we've got no other choice. Claudia's gonna die. That's all I know about. Here, take this too. What's this? Your father was holding it. Oh, simple works to my dear daughter. Oh, we're in California, apparently. Or he's, at least he's got a California plate. It started raining. Are you sleeping? I'm awake. That's the dumbest question ever. You can't answer it if you are sleeping. What's the deal with Silent Hill, anyway? It used to be a nice, quiet little town. But now... Keep in mind, all this other world stuff was not in Silent Hill yet. We're going to Silent Hill now. On a missing person's case. Never did find him. Ugh. But I'll tell you, that's one screwed up town. Oh god, they're just setting us up for this. You hear a lot of nasty rumors. I was born and raised there. On the playground is where I spent most of my days. I didn't mean to offend you. No offense taken. So does that mean Harry stayed in Silent Hill for a while? Can't imagine why it would. But for those of you who watch my Silent Hill 1 Let's Play, this might give you some ideas about Heather's identity. What's wrong? Feeling sick? My head's pounding. The worst hangover ever. Maybe your car sick. Really? No. I'm just trying to remember. My childhood. Something terrible happened in Silent Hill 17 years ago. A woman named Dahlia. I tried to summon the ancient god of the town. Look at how that went. She offered up her very own daughter. Oh yeah, Alessa. Maybe yeah, Alessa Gillespie. Her. The girl gave birth to a god. Indeed, Samael. You see, that girl had special powers. And my dad kicked his ass! Her classmates called her a witch. She could make things happen with her mind. Yeah, that explains the other world. She could kill people just by wishing for it. But in the end, that god was killed by a single person. My father, Harry Mason. 
So Heather was that baby at the end of Silent Hill 1. I guess it wasn't much of a god if it could be killed by a human being. But only the good plus ending, which now we know is canonical. But I think Claudia's trying to do the same thing again. And I've been chosen as the sacrifice. God, that sucks. You've got some kind of power in you too? After the god was killed, the girl reappeared. She was holding a baby in her arms. Mm hmm. Before she died, she gave the baby to my father. Again, the good plus ending. Alessa Gillespie gave basically Heather to Harry. Head for that Leonard guy's house. You check out the hospital. Are you out of your freaking mind? The map, right? Yeah. Douglas, I'm gonna kill you next. I swear to God. I'm not a child, you know. Are you sure it's not you who's afraid to be alone? <laughs> nope, I'm not going to the hospital. You're right. I am afraid. Fifty something years old. I never seen nothing like this. But hey, it could be worse. I could see the hospital. I still feel like I'm dreaming. <laughs> More like a nightmare, I'd say. <sighs> yeah. I want to wake up and have a smoke already. Meet me back here when you finish looking around the hospital. Okay? You, the detective, come with me for God's sake! Douglas! I'm gonna head to Leonard's house. One tiny house. You go ahead and check out freaking Brookhaven! Ugh. Well, with that horrible, horrible, horrible new mission of mine, let's go ahead and save. And that's gotta be a coincidence. Yup, the symbol's here too. But still, that's pretty weird. Who could have done this? Motel. Well, that should take care of things for now. In the next installment, you know perfectly well what's coming up next. Well, we made a whole lot of progress today. We got through that building in its other world form. We managed to recite a fairy tale's magic words to defeat the monster that was basically guarding the entrance of the building. And we finally got home to meet our dad, Harry Mason. Except that things were not as they seemed. Harry Mason was killed in our absence. In the very short time we had the conversation with him on the phone back at the mall, he was assassinated by Claudia and her monster. We killed the monster, but Claudia has got to die. And to do that, we have to make the trip down to Silent Hill. Oh, there's just one small problem. You see, Vincent sent us to look for a guy named Leonard. And Douglas is going to Leonard. And I'm not. Where's Heather going? Brookhaven Hospital! Give me a break! I have to check now the horrible, horrible hospital of Silent Hill 2 in Silent Hill 3. You know that's going to be a trip. Until next time, everyone.